New tonight, a warning about a new drug with dangerous side effects. Experts say not only is it highly addictive, it can cause temporary insanity and violent out outbursts, placing anybody around the user at risk. CBS 2's Dick Brennan with the details now on this new high. Security video shows a man on a rampage trying to kick and ram his way into Fort Lauderdale Police Headquarters. Detectives say he's high on Flocka, a dangerous new synthetic drug. It scares me to death. It absolutely scares me to death. Dr. Stephen Dewey, an addiction specialist, says Flocka causes hallucinations and delusions, making users believe they have superhuman powers. It's crazy because they become so aggressive. And when they believe that they're superhuman, they act on it. It's a scenario law enforcement has seen again and again. A man on Flocka darts naked through traffic, imagines he's being chased. Here a man, also high on the drug, tries to fly over a fence. Instead, he becomes impaled on it. It was just kind of dangling there. There was no way he could have gotten off. Dewey says Flocka can also lead to a dangerous surge in body chemicals with potentially catastrophic results. Just one dose can kill. Their body temperature can go up to 105, 106. Um, and that can be lethal. You can die from cardiac arrest. You can die from kidney failure. Workers on the front lines of the drug wars in New York are worried. They're bracing for what they say can be severe and long-lasting psychological problems. You have a psychological delusional episode that you do not come back from and may require a lifetime of therapy and medication to keep you manageable. I believe that it will kill kids. News of this new drug brings back painful memories for Cheryl Stankov, who lost her 24-year-old son George to heroin. The fight is getting tougher. It's really getting tougher. There's more things now that uh, our children are getting addicted to. Stankov says she's now sounding the alarm about this new threat to both teens and their families. I certainly want them to be aware. I'm trying to avoid them going through the pain that I went through. A pain that she says never goes away. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News.